Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Cosmetia with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our two ships in our budding fleet. In today's episode, we are going to go ahead and hopefully build our third ship to join us, which will most likely be using a lot of the more basic weaponry. These are the electro bolts and the small lasers, although I am also tempted to make a cannon vessel. So why would I go back now after using missiles and the ion beam to use the electro bolts and the small lasers? And honestly, it's pretty simple. These weapons are great on brawlers. I kind of want a second brawler already before I add a second support ship. And these type of weapons are just so easy to use in knocking out weapons, shields, pretty much a lot of the more vulnerable sections of the enemy because that's really what we're lacking at the moment. We can't pinpoint very very specific targets. So here we are in a novice section, which of course we have already out-leveled, so I'm going to go ahead, kill everything here, and hopefully we will have enough money to make a very small craft similar to this, but perhaps with a shield and some of the electro weaponry. So I will be right back. And there we go! All of the novice enemies have now been defeated fairly quickly and fairly easily. Most likely you saw very little of that or nothing at all. Either way, it's time to get building. So the question is, do we rebuild and edit the Scarab or just make something from scratch? I think making something from scratch would be the best idea. Plus that way we will have three ships, each of them looking different, each of them with a bit of a different style. Although I am trying to keep a certain aesthetic between them, as you can probably tell, let's get building. So let's just quickly go ahead and purchase one of the cheap vessels. There we are, fine. And then let's do some editing to you. So let's just, actually, you know what, let's just remove everything. There we go, nothing left at all, except for, let's just put down a core. There we are. So then, we have quite a bit of money to go with. We have 85,000 more credits. That's not actually that much, that's actually a little bit less than the missile ship costs with its new weapons. So this is going to be quite a small craft, which is actually a little bit worrying. Because this is going to have to be quite close to use the small laser and the electro bolt. So maybe the cannon would be the better idea. Even though cannons are not the cheapest thing in the world, they do need ammo to run, similar to the missiles. Perhaps cannon first, these later. Or we should go and kill another novice area first. I will decide in a second. Yeah, so we definitely don't have enough funds for this. This is nowhere near finished. I haven't even optimized anything and we've ran out of money. So I guess we're going to go to another novice area or perhaps another professional area, kill everything there once again, and then be able to actually afford our next craft. So uh, be right back with killing things, I suppose. And one more left, and then one more area is completely cleaned up. And let's just repair up and go to fight. I really should just remove that front armor. It just costs us a little bit of money every single fight because it is out of the shield range. But I just like how it looks like that. 
Now after this, we're probably going to have between 150 and 160,000 credits, which should be more than enough to build what I want to build. I still don't want it to be too, too big, you see. I also love how missiles always end up behind the target. Well, most of the time they do anyway. Whilst the target can still move. And down you go. That was actually surprisingly little. That missile just wanted to hit something, but sadly not. Okay, we have 153,000, so let's build up. Or, we could just get a second one of these. I am tempted, but no. Let's go ahead and let's build a new craft. But before we do, I should mention that now there are brand new starter ships. These were not the same as before, I think. People kept on telling me that anyway. Either way, I have not seen these two before. So let's spawn in one of those, since we need a new ship anyway to start destroying. Oh, that's adorable. That's actually somewhat similar to what we want. Let's have a look, see at you. You can unpause, that'll be just fine. There we are, pressing the right button eventually. So, one regular blaster, one regular electro bolt, and a tiny little shield. Wonder how fast that is at turning. Not bad, not bad at all. Very good at going backwards and forwards as well. That seems more agile than anything else, but that's not quite what we're looking for. Still very, very cool though. And now I'm afraid it's time for you to be destroyed. And rebuilt from your corpse. Okay, I think I'm just about done with this craft. It's turned into a bit of a... Space invader, honestly. I there, I there, tiny little horns, then the little doodle bobbers at the bottom. Yep, I've made yet another space invader. That seems to be a theme with a lot of my builds. Either way, though, I'm happy enough with it. It's got three reactors. It's got just about enough people. It has two electro bolts and four of the smaller lasers in addition to two shields. Looking back on it, I'm still probably going to use the scarab as the tank. So I don't think those two shields were really necessary. Maybe some point defense would have been better... But I'm okay with it. For now, though, what we need to do is start painting it. And very similar to the other craft, what I would like to do is, first of all, remove everything which was already there, like so. And I would like the armor to be one color and everything else to be something else. And looking at our other craft, we've gone with quite a dark paint scheme, so let's maybe stick with that. Let's go with that, because I prefer that one, and let's go with perhaps a dark blue or a dark green, maybe, so they're all different. Yeah, let's go dark green. So maybe something like that as the base, and then a dark black or grey for the armour. Maybe it's a bit of a bland colour scheme, but I think it would work out. Looks a bit putrid, and I'm okay with that, honestly. I don't say that in a bad way. I'm completely fine with this. So let's go for a greyish. Have green as the base. So maybe like this. You know what? I don't think a lot of people are going to like this, but I do. So let's stick with this. Is there any point in painting these? No, sadly not. Okay, getting very close to being done with this now. Um, how about we do this instead? Okay, that looks nice. And then let's do the same here again, so like that, and that's already done at the top. You know what? That doesn't actually look too bad. With the green being a bit played down now, I really don't mind that. Also, I've gone with biohazard symbols rather than the radiation symbols this time because, honestly, it looks like some form of floating disease as well, which, again, I am completely fine with. How about a skull? Uh, meant to do that one. No, that does not show up at all on that, sadly, which is a real shame. We could have pretty stars. Is there anything else we really want to add to this? 
We could use these again like we did on the last craft. That was pretty nice. Yeah, on things like that, I do like that. So, right now, as you can probably tell, one thing we need to change is we need to have the larger thrusters. This is simply all I could afford. As you can see in the top right, we've run out of money. I'm really bad at making things cheap. I'm not a good builder, but you know what? I can admit that. I'm just here to have fun at the end of the day, and I certainly have that at least. You know what? I like that as well. And let's have two of those. Don't want to go too overboard. If it looks too cluttered, that's when you can run into problems. So that goes there. And that would go... Da, 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 da. Mm, no to that last little bit there. Which means that looks out of place. It just looks a bit bland in the middle. And yes, we are spending way too much time doing this, I'll admit. You know, I just put that down as a joke, but I actually really like that. Yes, okay, keeping you. And let's just finish off making sure everything is painted in properly. And then we'll go and test this thing, I suppose. Oh, and uh, I guess I, sh I should also do this. It's not the most compact at the moment, and that's because I'm still waiting to put in the larger thrusters, so I'm still not sure how some of the corridors are going to go, but in a few tests, it seems to work just fine, so I'm happy enough with it. It also turns surprisingly quick, considering it's only using these tiny thrusters on the side. It's a bit sluggish, except for turning, but yep, it works just fine. So I will be right back when we go to a professional area and test out this craft in its fleet formation. Actually, before we do that, what we should do... Uh, let's go out of pause mode. Okay, let's grab all of you. How are we going to have this fleet now? Well, I don't really want that, but I do want you in front, or at least with this. But I still want you to tank. So I guess go in like this and then have you split off. Or make you go a little bit further ahead than this one. This one gets even further back. More akin to that. Maybe. We'll decide as we go. Okay, what I really need to do now, though, is save the formation. So let's put you back where you were. Let's put you back where you were. About there. Uh, let's make you a bit further back. Okay. they will save that as A. Oh, get back, get back, get back. There's way too many things around you. Let's just move over here for now just to be safe. Why must you keep doing this? Well, I guess you, we are getting further and further away from, from any other enemies, so it's not too bad. Okay, hello there, spread wings. So, let's just get into combat range, and then we'll figure out how this fight's going to go now that we have three in our little group. Okay. So, I want you then, I suppose, to take out turret, shield, sh and then energy, energy. You just do what you do, you do, do what you do, and everything should be fine. Please focus on a scarab, yes you are, fantastic. Whoa, those missiles did some serious work there. Was I controlling the wrong target there when I was doing that? What did I just do? I mean, either way, you did take out the shield, which was really good, but still. Cannon got deflected by the shield, excellent. And the cannon is about to go down. There it goes. The missiles come in. And the enemy is pretty much dying now. Fantastic. Oh, although there is a second target coming in at the side, which is really quite bad. Lovely. Okay, Scarab, get back. That could have been cleaner. That could have been far cleaner. Well, not great. We are being ambushed here by this fellow, so let's just do what we all do. You get there. 
Looks like you are going to be fighting this guy, which is a shame. Let's just stay at max for now and focus on the cannon, then that, then that, then the core. You see, this is how the fight should go. The enemy targets either the Scarab or the new vehicle. The missile just sits back, occasionally lobbing missiles. That's exactly what I wanted. Just need more practice still, that's all. Oh, that missile positioning. Thank you very much. Just glad you didn't have any, um... There we are. Just glad you didn't have any point defense, honestly. Thank God friendly fire isn't a thing in this game. Next enemy is the Trapper. Okay, so what I think I need to start doing is breaking off the fleet a little bit earlier than I currently am. As you can see, the engagement starts way later than I expect it to. Oh, well, obviously, take out those, go for the reactor. Uh, you... If you do happen to use your regular weapons, just go straight for the reactor, but honestly, just stay about that range. Scarab, max range it as always, so it doesn't laser you too much, and yep, just go for what you're already going for. And so we begin. The new vehicle, showing some really great aiming there. There we go, that's better. Turning off one of their weapons straight away. Whoa, so much electricity though. The Scarab instantly got turned off. That's the power of the Electro Bolt. They now actually go through shields. That didn't happen the first time I played this game. Okay, a little bit of a swap target, so still on that, now go on that instead. And missiles carry the day once again. Okay, the next thing we need, obviously, is another one of those vehicles. So, what I think will happen next episode is we need to upgrade the ships. They're all just the prototype basic at the moment, and yes, there are plenty of flaws with each. You have pointed them out quite well in the comment section, and I mean that quite seriously and quite positively, since I always do seem to learn things from the comment section. But, for now, they are just basic versions of themselves, and I think I know what I want to do with you, I know what to do with you, and I definitely know what to do with you. Even though you are adorable. Incoming, the final battle. Also, one thing I do need to do in the future is add some point defense to every single craft. Okay, this is going to be quite easy. So, let's keep in formation for now, just so we're not clipping into each other. You know what? Perhaps just leaving it is better still. Okay, now, so you... I said you... Let's be weird and lob off this arm. Actually, no, that's just difficult. Just go straight for the core. Just break through the armor, go for the core. Just go full on aggressive. Or we could do this, this core. Okay, change of plan. That, that core. You are already staying at a good range. It seems like the formation is actually really good for you. Either way, though, go for the reactor when possible. And you just stay in the middle. Well, apparently you want to break that arm off anyway, so that's good. Just to see the whole fight for once. Here's one issue, you keep on doing that. Let's move you out a bit. Hmm, yeah, I do need to find out a better way to keep you stable and not hitting the back of this thing. The problem is, if the enemy turns, you turn with it. If I do this mode rather than just a normal attack. Are you really ramming my vehicle? It's a shame physical damage isn't a thing in this game, because a heavily armoured ramming vehicle would be awesome. Okay, yeah, definitely go for that then, that. St 
still keep on focusing on that. Okay, now it has no power source. That will run out pretty quickly. So now, just go for the kill. Yeah, can you... Stop your current thing. Just go back to a normal attack position. I think maybe keeping this even further away from the Scarab at the start would be best. Looks like we're kind of bullying it, though, to be fair. Not that I have any compliance with that right now. Missile to the... Back? I get... Missiles, come on. Thank you. What's your problem right now? Well, we are in... Only a quarter speed, so it does look like we're moving even slower than we are. Okay, so here's an issue again. Most of my episodes are just finding issues. If we're in a fleet like this, I think we do need more forward speed, because this keeps on happening, the fragmenting of the, of the group. Well, with everything but this guy, because this one's actually quite fast. Because the issue is, if you go after you, you will then start reversing, and because both the Scarab and this new vehicle are quite good at reversing, but not so great at going forwards... In fact, I think you're equal both ways. Yeah, you're equal both ways. What happens is, this outpaces this one trying to go forwards, and then you'll just end up separating more and more. So I think we do need to actually focus a bit more on forward thrust, whereas if we only had one craft, which I still think is the best way of playing this game if you just want to win, then you just have lots of forward thrust. Either way, though, a pretty a pretty clean kill. I'm happy enough with this craft. Obviously needs some changes. It's far bigger than it needs to be. It's not very efficient corridor-wise, but it needs some more money put into it before I really want to make a finished product. But I am happy with it. I still haven't named this guy, and I do apologize for that. Right now, my internet is actually down because I'm getting an upgrade, which should hopefully help me stream more in the future. For those who follow me on Twitch, I have been streaming quite a lot the last few weeks, at least twice a week, which is very rare for me, so feel free to follow me there, twitch.tv slash Lathrix. I may stream some Cosmeteer and Reassembly in the not-so-distant future. In fact, I should have streamed Reassembly by the time this video goes up. It's all weird with the lack of internet and stuff. So with that, and with me running out of breath for that sentence, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmetia is a series you wish to see continued in the future. So name suggestions for the new craft and the little missile craft are more than welcome. Please tell me in the comments. Thank you again, and goodbye.